boys and girls, Mr Punch is here to show you how to make life simple. You don't have to worry about your assignments anymore, just copy and paste. Simple and easy and no one will ever know. Now then, Mr Punch, I hope you're not copying and pasting quotes into your assignments without referencing them. Of course I am, I can't be bothered to actually learn. Then why are you at university, Mr Punch? Learning is what you are here for. Oh, no, no, no. I'm here to have fun and eat sausages. Mr Punch, you do know that what you are doing is stealing, but everybody takes things from other people off the internet. That's what it's for. But if you do not reference your source, you are plagiarising. Well, that's not a real word. Yes, it is. Plagiarising means to take the work of others and pass it off as your own without attribution, whether that's copying other people's writing or even using someone's ideas without saying they had it first. But if I put the other people thought of things first, I won't look clever. You will, Mr Punch. You'll look well read and you'll show you know how to write academically. All right, all right, so I am plagiarising. But no one will ever know. You won't tell on me, will you, Judy? You loves me, Judy, don't you? I won't tell on you, Mr Punch. But don't think you'll get away with this. I'm not going to listen to that silly Judy. What does she know? I can't be bothered to learn how to reference... I'm just going to finish my assignment and hand it in. There we go. Lovely, lovely job. Wait a minute, who are you? I'm turning it in, crocodile. I'm here to eat your assignment. You can't eat my assignments. I've just finished it. Well, tough luck, Mr Punch. All assignments must first be eaten by Turnitin to make sure you haven't been plagiarising. You can tell if I've been plagiarising. Oh, yes. I remember everything I've ever eaten and I've eaten everything. If I eat something that tastes like something I've eaten before, it causes suspicion. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Hand it over, Mr Punch. I'm very hungry. As I thought, Mr Punch, this tastes exactly the same as this journal article. Yes, they are exactly the same. You haven't referenced it in your references. There's no excuse, Mr Punch. You were told you must reference every source you use. And this is word for word the same paragraph. The same five paragraphs. No, Mr Punch, this is the limit. I accuse you of plagiarism. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Why did I make the effort to do my referencing? Why did I try and pass others' work as my own? Oh, woe is me. Pity poor, poor Mr Punch. Well, I don't pity you at all. It was your own daft fault. Oh, what will happen to me? You must be tried. Tried? Yes, plagiarism is a serious thing. You've been accused of academic misconduct and you must now have an interview with the Academic Integrity Officer. Now then, now then, what's all this? Plagiarism, eh? Serious crime, that's taking others' work and ideas and passing it off as your own, thoroughly irregular. But everybody does it on the internet. You're in university now, lad. Here we respect each other's work. We have integrity. You're not on Tumblr now. I never said I was. None of your lip, my lad. You're in enough trouble as it is. Now to the case in hand. It is stated that you, Mr Punch, studying for a BA in sausages in your first year, it is alleged, did submit an assignment whereupon examination it was found that 60% of the words were and had in fact been copied and pasted 
from a journal article. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. To the evidence. Bring on the crocodile. Bring on the crocodile. I ate Mr Punch's assignment and I found it contains 60% of work that was exactly the same as this journal article without the author being referred to and with no record of this journal in the references. In fact, this assignment has no references at all. No references at all? Well, what have you got to say about that, Mr Punch? Oh, I couldn't be bothered to learn about referencing. You couldn't be bothered to learn about referencing? Well, in that case, I have no choice but to find you guilty of plagiarism. You will receive no marks for this assignment and will fail this module. And not only that, I shall recommend that you are excluded from the university, that you're run out of this town, that your parents are shamed, that you will end up alone, in debt, with no degree, with no prospects, no future, wasted the past Two years! <laughs> What's this? What's this? I'm in my own room. I haven't finished my assignment. It was a dream. Oh, thank the stars, it was just a dream. Judy! Judy! It was just a dream! What was Mr Punch? It was just a dream. I didn't commit plagiarism. I'm, I'm not going to be thrown out of the university. I want to learn, Judy. I want to learn. Well, I'm very glad to hear that, Mr Punch, but hadn't you best be getting on with your assignment? Oh, yes, yes, I had. Where's that journal article? And where's that guide for the referencing that the librarian gave me in my first term? I won't get caught by the crocodile this time. The crocodile? What are you on about, Mr Punch? The crocodile? And the policeman. Oh, Judy, I've learned a valuable lesson about academic integrity. That's the way to do it.